Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, on the demise of former Prime Minister of Italy, Silvio Berlusconi. His Majesty the King wished the President, the family of the deceased, and the people of Italy patience and fortitude. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, following the demise of Italy's former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Italy, Gloria Meloni. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympics Committee, BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Director General of the Olympic Council of Asia, the OCA, and President of World Aquatics, Dr. Hussein Al Msallam. In the presence of the Vice President of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Secretary General of the BOC, Faris Mustafa Al Kuhiji. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated Al Msallam on receiving an honorary doctorate, cause a award from the Vasil Levski National Sports Academy in Bulgaria in recognition for his contribution to water sports. His Highness affirmed the role of Al Msallam at the OCA and his efforts in developing the Olympic movement in the Asian region and the world. The cooperation between the BOC and OCA was highlighted during the meeting. His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted the success of the series of events held in collaboration with the OCA, which include the gender equity seminar held last year and the Asian Games Fun Run in Hongzhou 20, 2022. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the commander of the Special Battalion 83 and the BDF team, which had placed third at the international sniper competition held in Turkey. The BDF chief hailed the landmark achievement, noting that it is an outcome of the distinguished level of the training programs enjoyed by Bahraini military personnel. Thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Military Sports Union Director on the BDF team's success in the winning third place at the International Sniper Competition. The Military Sports Union Director sent his most sincere congratulations to the BDF Commander in Chief on the achievement, describing it as the outcome with the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The commander of the Special Battalion 83 received a cable of congratulations from the director of the Military Sports Union on the BDF team's success in the international sniper competition. The director of the Military Sports Union stated that the achievement was a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad Reis Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, adding that the team's achievements came following strong competition with international military teams. He noted that the achievement is a source of pride that reflects the team's outstanding status and its remarkable potentialities, as well as its keenness on raising the kingdom's status in sports events. Under the patronage of the Tourism Minister Fatma bin Jafar Sayrafi, the second edition of the Manama Gold Festival 2023 concluded witnessing an outstanding success. The minister said that the festival will contribute to achieving the goals of the Tourism Strategy 2022-2026 and increase the sector's contribution to the national economy. This year's festival provided weekly instant and grand prizes informative and artistic installations about Bahraini gold history and live music shows. The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Dr. Nasr Al-Qaidi, express pleasure with the success of the festival noting the authority's commitment to attracting more tourists. Bahrain Airport Company BAC, the operating and managing body of Bahrain International Airport BIA, held a meeting with key airport stakeholders to review reparations for welcoming the flow of passengers traveling through BIA for Hajj and summer vacations. The meeting discussed expected passenger numbers and peak duration and resources allocation requirements to ensure the airport's readiness. BAC Chief Airport Operations Ali Rashid said that working closely with the stakeholders, all preparations were finalized to welcome travelers and ensure they enjoy a safe, seamless and hassle-free travel experience. BIA stakeholders reaffirmed their commitment to providing the highest levels of service, adding that they will increase the number of staff of BIA to meet the evolving needs of travelers during the coming season and ensuring the provision of high-quality services.
With the start of the Hajj season and summer vacations in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, all relevant departments at the King Fahad Causeway Authority are preparing to take all measures to ensure the smooth flow of passenger traffic and the provisions of all updated electronic means and systems aimed at facilitating travelers' procedures. The authority worked uh, to launch new electronic services to facilitate the transit of Causeway users by increasing the effectiveness of performance, developing systems and using modern technologies to serve uh, this vital facility.